Hello everyone, how are you? I'm Fla Schneider. Welcome to Deco Arts Facebook Live. And today we're gonna to be talking about So Soft. If you've never heard of So Soft, it's a paint that comes in 72 beautiful colors, but what makes it very unique is that when it dries, it dries pliable and soft. So of course you want your shoes to be comfortable, you know, especially canvas shoes. But more so, I would say on t-shirts and sweatshirts, you want to wear something that's that's comfortable, right? And what's really cool, we even have some metallics. See how shimmery that is. That's what it dries like, by the way. Uh, neons and my favorite glitter. And it is pretty amazing that we make a glitter product for fabric that actually feels soft and flexible to the touch. Today we're going to be making some shoes. Of course, um, you can choose whatever color you want. These happen to be high tops. You can choose the high tops or the low tops. I think these are really cute. And the fact that they're white, they look just like a blank canvas. I also wanted to mention we do have a giveaway of just a variety of so softs. I don't know which colors <laughs> or how many, so that will be a surprise. But just go ahead and comment. Comment letting us know what would you paint with so soft. Uh, also, it works best on natural fabric, so you want to stick to cotton, it works best on cottons. So we're going to get started with the shoe here. The first thing you want to do is remove the laces. I already got a head start just for the sake of time, but we're going to go ahead and remove these laces. And we're just going to set them aside. And then you're going to get some paper towels and you're just gonna stuff the inside of the shoe. And that's for two reasons. Number one, just in case the paint seeps through, and number two, it will give you a nice sturdy surface to paint on. So about, what, or maybe one more. About like that. And the next thing you're gonna do is get a regular pencil. Doesn't have to be anything special. And you wanna make sure that it does have a white eraser on it, not the pink kind. Uh, and then I did get a head start. You're just gonna go ahead and sketch directly onto the shoe. And I'll show you how easy this is. If you're more comfortable, you can definitely use painter's tape for this part but I just like to freehand, whatever you prefer. Oh, I did mention, you know, to use a pencil with a white eraser, but if you're painting on a colorful shoe, like a pink shoe, orange, red, you can use the pink. Just if you're working on white, the white eraser really is helpful. So there I have the sun's rays. We're gonna mimic this design here. And it's not gonna look exactly the same because of course I'm just freehanding it. You can do a bunch of sun rays, you can do a few, whatever you prefer. And I'm not gonna draw the face because obviously I'm gonna paint it that light yellow color first and then paint the face over it. So there's no need to draw the face just yet. Then what you're gonna do is select your first color. We're starting off here with this really pretty pink. This is called Baby Pink Deep and I'm gonna give it a good shake. Open it. And for this particular design, you do wanna use a round brush about this size. And if you notice, I'm not too careful coming into the, the sun and the sun center. The reason is we're just going to be painting over that. So for the sake of time, I just like to go ahead and even pass that the circle. And this does go a little bit faster if, for example, um, the rays here are, you know, three to four different colors. Work with one color at a time. So I have that one down and maybe I'll jump over here. And 
you could see how nice that covers. That's just one coat there. Maybe we'll do one over here. Now, if you're painting over the pencil, you do want to make sure to do two coats to cover the pencil. But if you're painting inside of the pencil, once the paint is completely dry, you can just use your eraser, which is really nice. You can erase right on the canvas. And maybe we're gonna jump to this really pretty color, which is dark rose. Again, you wanna give it a good shake. While I'm doing this, I wanted to mention you guys, there is an awesome summer sale right now at decoart.com. Go check it out. You'll be surprised at how many products we have on sale right now. So it's a great time to stock up. There's no rules here. For example, if you wanted to bring the rays all the way over, you could. But I'm just stopping right at that. See where that stitch is? I'm stopping right there. That just seems like a good spot. And again, staying with the same color, I'm gonna go over here. Oh. Maybe right there. Remember guys, if anybody's just joining us, you can enter to win a variety of So Soft paints, a variety of colors. The winner will be announced on Monday. Simply leave a comment and let us know what would you paint with So Soft. Uh, again, what's completely awesome about it, not only does it give great coverage, this is one single coat as you can see, but it also dries completely flexible. So if you're painting on a t-shirt or e even your shoes, but especially a t-shirt or a sweatshirt, you want it to be totally comfortable on your body and flexible, not hard and stiff. So that's what's really awesome about this paint. And it comes in a bunch of colors. Again, I, I know I already mentioned, but it comes in 72 colors. So visit decoart.com and check it out. And I'm, I would love to hear what you guys are thinking about painting. Now we're moving on to this color, which is cadmium orange hue. And we're just going to continue right over here. And again, I'm just using a small round brush. And we'll do one more, let's say right here. Can you see that? Okay. And you could see this goes pretty fast. Of course, you could decide if you want a bunch of rays real close together like the other one I did or if you want it a little bit looser like this one here. So now we're going to move on to this color which is the cadmium yellow hue. You do want to give it a little shake. And there's just two more rays to go here. Now remember, if you're painting over pencil, can you see how you can see the pencil right through that yellow? You do wanna apply two coats of anytime you can see the pencil right through. But if you're painting inside of the pencil, just wait for your, pen to, your paint to dry and then use your white eraser and just erase the pencil. It comes off very easily off of canvas. And I think these are super cute for the summer. And you can go all out 
You could even paint the canvas solid if you wanted to. But sometimes, you know, you just want a little accent, a little pop of color. And this, of course, is on the outside part of the shoe, so it's a little more visible. Now what we're gonna do is add a little bit of white. to the yellow, so I'm mixing, uh, I'm gonna say about two parts yellow and one part white, approximately. Just because I want the sun's face to, you know, stand out from that other yellow and be a little bit different. Now, normally I would wait for that to dry because it is gonna pick up some of these colors. But let's see, and sometimes you get what's called happy accidents. You know, what if it does pick up some of the colors, but it actually looks really cool, right? You never know. Can you see that, how it picked up a little bit of that orange there? If you like it, just leave it. If not, after it dries, come back and add another coat. I have to turn it a little bit. Okay, then of course we want our sun to have a face, right? But at this point, I would not paint the face when it's this wet. So I did paint a yellow circle on this side. It was just a few minutes ago. It's not 100% dry, but dry enough for me to just paint the little face. Now for that part, you do want a very thin brush. Let's see. This one should work. And we're just gonna mimic that right there. So I'm starting with the orange. I know you're gonna be viewing this upside down. If I could paint faces upside down, I would. <laughs> but see how that gives you a nice, very, very thin line, great for detailing. So this is a liner brush. And then the sun needs a nose, of course. There's its little nose. For those of you just joining us, leave a comment, let us know what you would paint with So Soft, and you will be automatically entered to win a nice grouping of a variety of So Soft colors. The winner will be announced on Monday. So if you're watching this on replay, you can still enter to win. Just go ahead and leave a comment. So we're doing the sun's lips in that deep rose. And then we're gonna give him some rosy cheeks, him or her, whatever. Oh, I forgot the eyelashes. The eyelashes are optional, but I, I think they add a touch of cuteness for sure. Just three tiny lashes. Okay, and I'll turn it around. There's the face. Now, if you notice, those shoelaces there are yellow, and we didn't purchase them yellow. They're actually painted, and I'm going to show you a trick on how to do that. So you just want to get your laces, and you want to put on a pair of gloves. It's easier to do it this way than it is to use a paintbrush and actually, you know, paint them. 
Oh, and I did want to point out this other cute pair here, just so you can see other options and color palettes for creating cute shoes. Um, that's a little bit more, you know, muted colors with a geometric pattern. And you can imagine how easy that would be to create with, you know, painter's tape. So really cute, a lot of options. And I mentioned earlier that you could paint the entire shoe if you wanted to, because it dries so nice and soft and flexible. Let me see if you could, I don't know if you can notice that on camera, but with the regular paint, it would not feel this soft and pliable. So I have my gloves on and I know those laces were yellow. Why don't we do these pink just for fun? And you're just gonna pick up the paint, put them in between your fingers, and you're literally just gonna rub and see, you're, you're, I'm painting both sides at the same time. And you're gonna just start to pull down. And as soon as you see that the paint is running out, that's when you reload. It's actually kind of fun. And these laces are super long. <laughs> but even so, it goes really, really fast doing it this way. And of course, you want to have an area ready. For example, I would probably have some freezer paper laid out where you can set the laces down to dry. Well, now I'm working it with both hands. <laughs> but I think you guys kind of get the idea, right? So I just go all the way down. As you can see, these are very long. I don't think you want to watch me do the whole thing. <laughs> I think you got the idea. Okay, guys, so pick up your So Soft. And think about some fun summer things you want to paint. Do you want to paint a t-shirt, uh, shoes, a sweatshirt, something fun and summery like a sun like I did, some flowers, anything that you like, make it personal. Do your initials or your name. Just have fun with it. And remember, we have the, you know, the basic colors. We also have the neons, the metallics, and my favorite, the glitters and they all dry super soft and flexible. So I hope you pick some up, paint some fun things. Remember to leave a comment, you'll be automatically entered to win. The winner will be announced on Monday. Visit decorart.com. We have the most spectacular summer sale right now. You wouldn't believe how many items are on sale. Okay, everyone, see you next time on Deco Art's Facebook Live. Bye.